Hi everybody. So today we've got our neighbours uh, up the back here are cutting their bushes, the bushes back. So they've got some workmen up there cutting the bushes back. And of course, we've got machine, some machinery going, even though it's quite quiet, but kangaroos can be really funny. There's strangers walking around, so they, uh, they can get a bit nervous. So what we've done today is we've opened up the back here so the kangaroos can come in here and um, get away. And uh, yeah, we don't want them panicking. There's a couple in the paddock still somewhere, a couple that have managed to be brave. But um, yeah, they've all come in here. But of course, you know, we all know what our Rufus is like, don't we, peoples? You know, he's, he's scared of the, um, you know, our, our ride on lawnmower. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. He's scared of the ride on lawnmower and, um, and anything that's a little bit unusual, he's scared. So, of course, Rufus, being Rufus, has to come in the house. So, Mr. King, King of the Throne, Rufus. He's on his couch, aren't you, Rufus? You're not staying out there and being frightened. As soon as the guys came and got out of their van and just started walking around, they hadn't even started their chainsaws or anything, and Rufus was like, ah, I'm out of here. I'm in the house. So in he come. He's, so, right he, the he's the biggest sook. You are the biggest sook, Rufus. Do you know that? Yeah, you're the biggest sook. I haven't even got your proper blankets on the couch or anything. We didn't have time, did we? Didn't have time, and he was like, nah, I'm stressing. I'm, I'm not liking them people walking around up there, so. Is that what we're saying about you, a big sook? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, luckily, uh, them bushes only get cut back every now and then. So anyway. So all the other kangaroos are all hanging out here today because, yeah, like I said, they're not overly keen on uh, strangers being near their fence. And the, the guys doing the cutting the bushes back were really good. They've got battery battery um, chainsaws and, and stuff that they're using. So it's it's pretty quiet really, but again, just the, look at Gromma. You're watching them, aren't you, Grom? Just the fact that there's strangers walking around close to their fence upsets them. So anyway, it's going good so far. So I was a little bit worried because, you know, kangaroos can get like, yeah, like they're a fright and fly animal. So if something really scares them, sometimes, like I said, they can slam into fences and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it is always a bit nerve wracking when something different is going on. So, yeah, like I said, there's a few kangaroos braving it out there still. But um, yeah, anyway, it's all going good. And I just had to show you Mr. Sookie Bum Rufus. He had to be in the house. So, yeah. All right. Well, they're halfway through cutting them um, bushes. I've only got a couple more to go, these big bushy ones here. There, because they're starting to grow through the fence. So, um, yeah, a few more bushes to go and then we'll, we can relax. Can't we, kangaroos? Can't we, kids? A little sit down there. I'm leaving the wallabies locked in there, little areas that they're safe in there too, until it's finished. So, yeah. All right.